So my name's Sally West. I've been painting since, you know, as a child, like everyone. Started exhibiting when I was 20. So that means I've been painting for 29 years. I went to um, boarding school when I was 12. And up until that point, I don't think I'd ever touched a paintbrush, but you know, we had art and we were all given an art kit and just there yeah, really found it natural and came quite obsessed about it. So I always subsidise the painting with other work. If you want to make a living out of it, I think that's what most artists struggle with. And it's really quite competitive to get noticed. I'm lucky that I can have a studio and afford one, but it's really hard to be professional without one. I started painting seriously and full time virtually from the age of about 20, like I mentioned. And then, so after several years of living in Sydney and painting in my lounge room, I really wanted to have my own space. So I moved to Bury on the south coast and rented a little house on 30 acres and just painted and painted and painted. And then after a while, I ran out of brushes. They just all became hard and the bristles wore down. So there's no art supplies shop there. So I just found a palette knife and just started working with that. And because that's all there was and that's how the texture came into the work. And then the styles just evolved. I have uh, options, so plain air is my preferred subject, which is outdoor painting. But if it's windy or raining, then I choose either still life in the studio or I'll work from photographs of street scenes. So it's all driven by the weather, really. First time I was selected was in the Waverley Art Prize, and it was just a little pastel drawing. I hadn't actually moved into oils yet, so it was the first time I'd seen my work on a hung properly and yeah, it was really exciting. I mean, there's so many artists. Of course, the classic painters like Van Gogh, who paints outdoors, you know, I've always wondered what his systems were, like Ben Quilty, I love his really broad strokes. And yeah, like Brett Whiteley, I loved his study of water and uh, the human form and there's so many inspiring artists every day you know even now it's on Instagram and there's just like photographers and painters from all over the world that are really interesting and we have access to so all inspiring. Rejection's hard but um, I think it's in everything um, it doesn't mean you're going to stop painting, so I still get rejected a lot, but I tell myself, well, it doesn't matter because this is what I do and whether you get in or not, tomorrow I'm still going to turn up and go painting, so. <laughs>